Today I wanted to show you a super simple lettering style that I like to use in my bullet journal and just any time I need something really quick. It doesn't require any lettering skills or special pens and it's really easy to do. You can even do this with just your regular handwriting. So I'm showing you how I do this here. First, I just start by writing out a word. In this case, it's in a cursive style. And then I'm loosely retracing over the word multiple times, making the letters just a little bit thicker each time. So this is a scribbly, messy style, and I call it the multiple line style, which isn't a very creative name, but that's basically just what it is. There's not much to it. You can think of the initial single line word that you write as kind of the skeleton, and then we're going to build around that. If you want to do this with your everyday handwriting, you just want to take your handwriting and scale it up, make it bigger, and space it out a little bit more so that there's room to make the letters thicker. So I'm writing the same thing out again, just bigger and with more space between the letters so that I can add more to them. And then, just as I did before, once I have the words written out, I'm just going to loosely retrace over the letters multiple times, building them up until they're as thick as I want them to be. You can go over the letters many times and make it really thick, or you can do it just a few times. It can be as much or as little as you want it to be. This style looks especially good with a script or cursive style of writing. So again, make your writing bigger and space it out a little bit more, and then you can thicken up the letters just a little bit more. And again, this style is really simple, really easy. There's not much to it. It's just a quick and easy way to add a little something extra to your writing whenever you need it say for note taking or in your bullet journal, if you need a title in your bullet journal. If you want it to go faster, you can use a larger pen. So a larger pen will make this go a lot faster and it can also look messier. So it depends on the look you're going for. You can try this with different pens, different styles of writing. It can look as messy or as neat as you want it to. And I've been writing pretty big so far, but you can also write smaller and it'll go faster. Then you also have to concentrate a little more on keeping it neat. And one thing that makes this look a little bit better is if you try not to lose all of the white space when you're going over the letters multiple times, because it looks even better when you can see the white space separating some of those lines. So let's say I was writing out the month of August in my bullet journal. If I wanted to use this style for that, I would maybe do a cursive style, just do it bigger and put a little more thought into how I write the letters, try to keep them neat. I'll add a big swirled crossbar to this T. And then something you can do if you want it to look more like calligraphy is add most of the thickness only on the downstrokes. So pay attention to the direction your pen is going in when you retrace the letters. And anytime the pen is moving downward, make it a little bit thicker along that stroke. So here my pen is going down, I'll make it thicker, up, and then down again, make that thicker. And just do that all through the word. Anytime your pen is going downward, make the line just a little bit thicker. Thank you. 
And to make this stand out even more, I'm going to add a shadow. So to add a simple shadow to your lettering, all you have to do is draw a line on one side of the letters that follows the shape of the letter. So in this case, I'm going to draw the shadow lines to the right and just slightly below each letter. And this just makes the words stand out a little bit more, especially if you do it in a contrasting color. You can also totally do this with simple block letters. So again, if I needed to write out the name of a month in my bullet journal, I like to use a different lettering style for each month. So maybe for September, I do just simple uppercase capital letters like this, and then I'll go over each letter, just kind of scribble loosely over the letter multiple times, make them thicker. And then something fun you can add is serifs. I can turn this into a serif style by adding those little marks at the end of some of the letters. And if you're not sure where to put the serifs, you can look at a serif font and that'll show you where the serifs typically go on the letters. So that's another cute lettering style you could use in your bullet journal or just for note taking. If you're trying this with your regular handwriting, here are four things you can do to make your handwriting look a little bit more fancy. First of all, instead of just writing the word hello like this, try making the loops bigger. So anywhere you have a loop when you're writing a word, make it really big and exaggerated. That changes up the look of the whole word. Another thing you can do is at the ending and beginning of a word, add a nice big swirled line leading in and then finishing the word. That's a fun way to make it look more elegant. Another thing you can do is whenever you have the letter T in a word like create, instead of just doing a straight line across the T, try doing a big swirled line across the T. That makes it look a lot fancier. And then similarly, whenever you have a letter like Y or G in a word, you can use the tail of that to add a little bit of a flourish. So instead of just making it really small and simple, you can add a big swirl or loop or something a little bit fancier coming off the tail of that letter for a little bit of a flourish. It just makes your writing look even more special. And remember that if you want it to look a little bit fancier, add more thickness on the strokes that are going in a downward direction. So here's a bigger close-up look at that. If I retrace this, here are my pen's going up and then down. So that's a downstroke, then up, down again, up. Here's another downstroke. So I can make those parts of the letters thicker than the rest. Thin upstrokes and thick downstrokes is something we do in calligraphy, and we can use that same principle in our lettering to make it look a little bit fancier. So if I needed to write congrats in a greeting card, instead of just doing writing like this, just basic writing, I might do it like this instead. So write it out bigger, a little more spaced out. I'll connect some of the letters. I'll add a flourish to the tail of this G. And then there's a T, so I can add a more interesting crossbar to that. And then once I have the sort of frame of the word written, I can loosely retrace it multiple times to build it up. And you can retrace over the letters as fast and messy or as slow and intentional as you want to be. I usually do the first two or three times fast and messy, and then I will slow down a little bit, be more intentional, thicken areas I want to be thicker, clean up some of the edges and ends just so it doesn't look too messy. 
So that's a cute and messy lettering or writing style that you can use whenever you just need something quick and easy, whether it's for your bullet journal or taking notes or writing on cards or gift tags, anything like that it works great for and it's also really fun to do.